interaction right here. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode, guys. Welcome back, y'all. Today, we got a whole entire video planned out for y'all. Today, I will be taking care of my male Asian water monitor. He's about three or four feet long. Not four, he's about three feet long. But yeah, we're gonna be feeding him. I'm gonna talk a little bit about him. Um, show him his show y'all his future plans here at my mini reptile zoo. Um, he will be getting a bigger enclosure very, very soon. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's a nice guy. And uh, I want y'all to meet him for all the people who are new to this channel. So without further ado, let's go. But all right, you guys, his enclosure is actually on the other side of my yard. Um, I'm walking to it right now, but it is really, really tall. I'm 6'4", and I'm gonna stand next to it real quick for you. Is enclosure to me, <laughs> you see. So it's about 6'2, six, 6'2, two. Uh, six, two, six, yeah, about I don't even know, it might even be six foot long, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is the whole thing. I'm not sure how long it is, I believe it's like five and a half long, and then it's like four feet deep, or you know, it might be like five feet deep, like six foot wide, six feet tall. I didn't really uh measure it when I was building it, I really just measured like the wood and stuff. And uh, I didn't really <laughs> remember the measurements, but yeah, this is enclosure. It's crazy. I added all of these little basket spots and branches and everything he can climb on. So you can see like that. So when the sun is out in the morning, it's like right over here. So he can just come out and bask, and it'll be straight down from this mesh, and he can just have a nice, cool basket spot. And it gets really, really hot. Yeah, he has a ton of stuff in here. I'm gonna flip y'all around and basically just give y'all a tour of his enclosure. All right, so here we go. We got his hide right here. So you can see the little wire is going all the way down. He has a hide and it has a heating mat right underneath it. So he has that. He has another one of those little uh little tote things you want, whatever y'all want to call it. He sleeps in there. Um, he can climb up it, and then he has another one up here. That's really the one that he sleeps in as well. So uh, yeah, and then this whole entire bottom is covered with mesh, and then it slates. As y'all can see, it's laced like all right here. So he cannot dig out of this enclosure because I covered the whole thing with mesh, set like a uh, rock and concrete slates all around it. And then I put soil and mulch around it. And then I swept it off. So you can kind of see some most of the slates. Hey you guys, so now we're gonna come over here, and open up his enclosure. And this boy is in shed, as y'all can see. Um, he is a nice boy. And I want to take him out the water because he's sleeping in there right now. All right, so here we go. Here's Paulo. As y'all can see him. I'm going to close this door because I do not want this boy to run out. It would be crazy if he runs out. I I probably will lose him. I I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Yeah, so this is Paulo. Say what's up, Paulo. As y'all can see, he's probably just in this water because he is shedding. What's going on, buddy? He does not like being just picked up randomly. But yeah, he's a nice boy. It's really, really hot outside. Today was like 95 degrees. So this boy is just chilling in the water. I used to actually think that he was a female when I first got him um, for the longest time. And then he really started to mature. And then I started seeing the hemi penis that was like at the at the bottom of the, in the base of his tail. So then I was like, yeah, that's a male. So I'm prepared for him to get six foot. So, I mean, <laughs> this enclosure probably could house a female for the rest of her life, as you can see. Or at least like four or five years of her life. But this guy right here, he's gonna be six foot in about two more years. He's like a year and a half old. So two more years, this boy will be really, really, really big. But uh, yo, he's going through a growth spurt. I've been feeding him every day. Today, we will be feeding him again as well. Yeah, look at this boy. Yo, I, I wear a size 13, right? Look how big he is to my shoe. So that just basically gives y'all justice on how big this guy already is. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of pick him up. I don't want him to splash water everywhere. So he'll try to tell with me. But in the water, he's a little bit different. So I don't really trust him in the water. See, he wants to bite me in the water. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to take him out and like sit him up here because we got some chicken falling off from the pool. I want him to eat. All right, so you see this camera above him as well. But yeah, every time I come in the water, this is when I get bit because he doesn't trust me all the way in the, see? See how his head is like flicking like that? He doesn't trust me in the water, like at all. Look at him. <laughs> What's wrong? Come on. This is what we're gonna do. Here. Come on. I'm gonna try to scoop you out. 
but see, he's trying to bite the, the plant. So, yeah, this guy does not trust me whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is basically dump this water, just like, just like this. There he goes. Now he's gonna be able to go. There you go, Bobo. He's probably gonna go right through there, yep. That's his favorite thing to do. We're gonna let him do that. And then we're gonna go ahead, head inside and go get his chicken. All right, you guys, so we just emptied out the tote filled with water. This is basically like his little makeshift pond. I'm gonna throw it off here. You can do a beautiful run underneath this high. But yeah, oh, uh, I took it out of here. So this boy is gonna be ready to eat a nice meal. And look at that enclosure. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead inside now, go get him some chicken. His favorite food is not chicken. He loves uh, shrimp and tilapia. He hates live fish though, like bluegill and stuff. He ate one bluegill and I had like a whole bunch of them and he spit out the rest. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that boy. So yeah, we're gonna head inside real quick and get him some chicken. All right, you guys, as y'all can see, we got the chicken, it looks all thawed out. So basically what I'm gonna do now is kind of cut it up in pieces because it is a lot. All right, here we go, we got some. Basically what I want to do is come over here, grab a piece, and just basically cut it in half. So make it into smaller portions for the boy. Just like that. See? I just like that we're done. And we gotta drink some calcium one as well. Alright you guys, so we got the calcium right here. This is what I like to use. Just normal, regular reptile calcium. I'm gonna up here. And uh basically it just has a bunch of vitamins, it has vitamin D3, all of that good stuff. So Sprinkle just a little bit like that on the chicken and uh, it helps my water monitor become healthy His bones is healthy. His skin is healthy um, It helps them when they don't have UVB in their in, in their enclosure, but he has natural sunlight as you can see. Look at that sun right there So that is not the issue at all. I just like my animals to be a lot healthier than normal So I like to just give them their multivitamins basically every other day All right, you guys it's time to feed this boy Paulo when I tell y'all he's a crazy eater sometimes I mean it. So we got the tongues right here. And I'm gonna grab this bowl. And now let's head in this boy's enclosure. Let's feed him. All right, let me open it up. All right, as you can see, up to the bowl, like right over here. Tongues on top. All right, we're gonna close this door because you already know we don't want any escapes. All right, and this is where this boy is at. Basically, gonna just flip it over, just like that. Look at him. All right, Paulo, I'm gonna mix it up just so it doesn't get everywhere. All right, Paulo, you ready? First piece, come on. You see it, it's chicken, you want it? You want chicken today? Oh yeah, you want some chicken today. There you go. Don't run with it. There he goes. <laughs> Look at that boy. It's good, it's good chicken. Another piece. I'm gonna get him this bigger piece. I'm not sure if he's gonna eat all of it today. Come on, up here. Come on. Come on. He ate yesterday, so I'm not sure if he's hungry. Come on, Paulo. Come on, right here. Right up here. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. Paulo. This dude. He's being moody today again, guys. Paulo. Here, here, come out so the camera can see. Here, and three, two, one. Get it, get it. Got a soul bite to it. Yeah, boy. Being a little shy today. There you go. That was a big piece, too. Taking it down like nothing. He has a little bit of dirt on it. He loves smearing it in dirt. I don't know why he does that, but as long as he passes it, he'll be all right. All right, you guys, this is my point of view with it now. Let me grab a small piece. Let me grab the phone. Hello, come on, come on. What are we here for, right here. Come on, hello, come on. This off. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's, 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 
Here. Here, Paula. Take it. Take it. Just take the chicken. Take the chicken. Come on. Come on. Take the chicken. Take the chicken. Take it. Right, you don't get the chicken. I can see his stomach. There, just get one more piece. One more piece. There you go. See, that's too bad. I'll be feeding him a lot, you guys, because I want him to get big before the end of summer. Here, I'll try to put it on a few more inches. So, they're opportunistic eaters, so they'll always eat. If I irritate them enough, I'll take a bite out of it. Last piece. There you go. So y'all, that's basically what it's like feeding an Asian water monitor. Just chilling out. But yeah, that's my boy Paulo. He's such a cool animal. Really cool lizard. And uh, I just want to get him a little bit bigger before uh, it gets cold out here. So I try to feed him every day. I don't feed him every day all the time, but at least every other day, this boy's eating. He's eating shrimp, eggs. Yes, that's why you can see eggshells on the floor. He's eating eggs, oil eggs, scrambled eggs, uh, chicken, uh, just like raw chicken. Um, then I'll feed him cooked chicken with the bone. Sometimes I'll just feed him raw chicken with the bone, chicken wings. Uh, raw chicken wings, of course, not cooked and seasoned and all of that. I don't need all of that. But uh, yeah, just give him the normal stuff. Then he eats like bluegill, like it's a whole prey. He doesn't really like it all the time, but I still try to feed it to him. And it has liver, um, has the heart, all types of stuff like that. And then I'll feed him like a pinky mouse, a rat. Well, pinkies are honestly, they're way too small for him now. So probably give him like a, a fuzzy mouse, something like that, every once a month or whatever. And it really just gives this guy a healthy variety of a diet. So yeah, he loves it over here, has a huge enclosure. And uh, yeah, that's my boy Pablo. All right, for those of you who decided to stay tuned, um, we gotta go feed some other animals too. I got a giant snapping turtle named Snapple, and uh, we're gonna be feeding her some uh, some frozen thawed fish. All right, y'all, I got the fish right here. It's starting to smell, <laughs> like it really is. So I caught these at a lake a few weeks back, so probably a little old now. So I'm gonna try to feed her as much as I can, and we're gonna feed the rest of the turtles and stuff. Yeah, we got a, we got a lot. All right, you guys, I'm gonna set y'all up over here. Right up there. Boom, there y'all go. This is snapping. So take off one of the lids, and uh, y'all gonna see this girl come out. Grab a piece of fish. Oh, she all oh, cool. Let me show y'all this. Look at this. You ready? Snap. Ooh. I don't want to feed her it yet because it's still frozen. I'm just giving y'all a little preview. That girl. Oh yeah, she ready. We gonna let we gonna let this thing thaw out just a little bit more though. But let's see how much y'all. Oh yeah, she's she's hungry. There you guys. It's just frozen, thawed uh, bluegill and stuff. I'm gonna let it thaw out for it. And uh, feed her. We got some big pieces in here as well. I doubt Apollo. Apollo now he wouldn't even touch it. Cause now that he ate, the only way he'll eat a bluegill is honestly if I don't feed him for like a few days, and then I just randomly give him a bluegill. He'll be like, oh, okay, that's what you're gonna give me. I guess it's the only thing you're gonna give me, so I'll eat it. So other than that, that boy won't touch it. <laughs> he he hates it with a passion. I'm not sure why. All right, so guys, we got other the other ones. I'm gonna kind of thaw it out. It's like warm water in here, so I'm gonna let it run over. Y'all gonna see the red tail come out soon, cause he's gonna smell this fish everywhere. I'm like right near the pump. Y'all, I've been trying to follow this fish. Look, we got Sammy down there. 
all the mother bus turtles are out. They're just all looking for the fish. But this one is finally thawed out enough to feed it to my girl snapper. So just like this. Make a little movement in the water. I know she's either on this side or she's on the other side because I just put her back in the composure. I'll just try this side right here. Yeah, but where did you go, bro? Just like that. Yo, can y'all see it down there? Yo, that is crazy. Let me see. Move all this other way. She has a ton of algae just sitting at the top, but yo, that is wild. Yo, and look at this little thing right here. <laughs> yo, has a whole piece of fish just tearing it apart. Guys, we're gonna throw one more in there for Snapple just so she can find it. Alright, you guys. So that is the end of today's episode, as y'all can see. Just sitting enjoying and watching the turtles run around and eat food. The red toes out, everyone's out just eating bluegill. As you can see, all the turtles, everyone. All right, you guys, so we are we got a Bible verse right here for y'all. Today we're reading Psalms chapter 113, verse three, y'all ready? The Lord deserves that people praise him from where the sun rises in the east to where it goes down in the west. So I hope y'all absolutely enjoy. Um, yeah, basically took care of my boy Apollo. He enjoyed his meals, um, enjoyed spending time with you guys. And thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll catch y'all in the next wild episode. Peace out.